Hello, pretty family. We are so excited to introduce our new Muse preset and profile collection. This collection is all about bold and colorful edits, and it's the third release in our Evolution series. Our Muse collection is our most extensive collection to date. It harnesses the power of Lightroom profiles in combination with Lightroom presets to create gorgeous Lightroom edits. And new with this collection, we have included 23 adaptive AI brushwork masks that utilize Lightroom's AI technology and will further simplify your workflow. You are likely very familiar with Lightroom presets. Profiles are similar in that they make adjustments to your image and are applied with one click. You can find all of your profiles on the right side of Lightroom in the basic panel. Just come over here and click on the four rectangles at the top of the basic panel and you'll see all the profiles that you have installed in Lightroom. Now let's quickly cover how to install profiles and presets. To install presets in Lightroom Classic, you're going to go over to File, Import, Develop Profiles and Presets. In Lightroom, you're going to go to File, Import Profiles and Presets. Once you click on that, a window will open that allows you to navigate to the zipped folder that you downloaded. You're going to highlight that zipped folder and click Import. Now I've already imported these, so I'm not going to click Import, I'm just going to click Cancel. But it's that easy. Everything is installed. You'll find the Muse presets and the Muse AI Adaptive presets over here on the left side in the Presets panel. And you'll find the profiles over on the right side in the basic panel at the top. Click on the four rectangle icon. You'll find all of your profiles in the profile browser. Now let's get right into editing. I'm going to come over here and just scroll over each of the Muse presets so you can see what each one of them look like on this image. And you can see that there are several that are really beautiful on this photo. My favorite is Muse 7, so we're going to start by applying Muse 7. Now, every time you apply a preset, you get the amount slider. You can adjust Muse 7 however you would like. You'll also see that you get an amount slider for each profile over here in the profile browser. So you can adjust this as well. Once I adjust the amount slider over here, this amount slider on the left will no longer be able to be adjusted. So I usually start here and adjust over here as needed. If I come over here and hover over the different profiles, you can see how just changing a profile can change the look of this preset as well. And actually, I really love Matisse on this one too. So it's really fun just to play around, experiment, see what looks good, see what you like, see what fits your style. So now that I've applied Muse 7, I want to apply some of our AI presets, and these are just genius. AI technology automatically selects a portion of your image, and our AI presets use that technology and apply edits in one click. So I'm going to apply several of these and show you how I adjust them, and then we'll practice doing some other edits as well. So I'm going to start with background exposure darken here, and then I'm going to adjust this down to 30%. And then I am going to do background color boost as well. And I'm also going to adjust this down quite a bit, maybe somewhere in the 50s. That's good. And then I'm going to do background soft focus. And you can see that this adds a lot of softness. So obviously, I'm going to come here and adjust this one down as well. Now let's go down to the sky section. Let's apply sky. Let's try dramatic clean. And I like what that does, but I can see some, some funny things happening here. So I'm just going to pull this down a little bit to adjust the effect until that's a little bit less obvious there. And then I'm going to do subject brighten and then pull that one down as well. And the reason that these are created with stronger effects is because you can adjust them and you can adjust them and customize them to your image. So sometimes it might be too much and that's perfectly fine. Just adjust it down a little bit with the amount slider. And then the last one I'm going to add is going to be vignette medium. And then I'm also going to pull that down quite a bit. And then if I click on the before and after, you can see that in just a couple of clicks, we have really created a dramatic change to this image and it's beautiful. The before and after is just stunning. 
Now let's do a couple of other quick edits and just see how all these beautiful tools can work together. Let's come down here and choose a new image. I'll take it off the before and after. Let's come up here and for this image, let's choose Muse 2, which is beautiful. You'll see that each time I choose a preset over here, I'm automatically going to be given a profile over here. And this is what we've chosen and thought was the best, but you can obviously adjust that if you find one that fits your style better. So let's close this. I'm going to add just a little bit of warmth to this image, just a touch. And then I'm going to come over here and use some of our AI adaptive presets. We're going to come down, choose scene background dramatic, and I'm going to pull this down just a little bit just to make sure we retain some of the detail in the background. And then I'm going to choose the temp warm. And I love that. That's perfect. Let's just leave that one as it is. And then let's come down and choose soft focus. And again, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to drop the amount on this maybe down somewhere in the 30s-ish. I still want it to soften the background, I just don't want it to be quite as much, and I think that is beautiful. So the last thing I'm gonna come up here and do is come down and do Subject Portrait Retouch, and this is under Subject Face. This is just gonna soften the skin tones a touch. And then I'm gonna come over here and lastly just add a little bit more warmth. I'm not sure I did quite enough. I love that. Okay, so let's look at the before and after. Here we've got just a couple of clicks and we've already created a beautiful portrait. Those AI adaptive presets are so powerful. Okay, let's just quickly do these last two edits. I'm going to turn off the before and after. For this next image, I'm going to choose Muse 1. And then I'm going to warm up my edit just a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is come down and choose um, the background color boost and pull that down just a little bit. And then we're just going to choose exposure brighten and then pull that down just a little bit. <laughs> this is such a gorgeous before and after. Let's look at this really quick. Just stunning what a couple of clicks can do when you have the power of these presets. For this last one, I'm going to choose Muse 5. Let's take off the before and after. I'm going to use a couple more here, but first I'm going to bump up the temperature. And then we're going to use background dramatic, but pull it down. Then we're going to use background color boost and pull that one down too. And then for this last one, we're going to do soft focus and then decrease that. Then for this image, we're going to choose subject exposure brighten that down and then do vignette let's do sharpen subject also and then let's choose vignette medium and pull that one down and then let's just look see how dramatic this gorgeous before and after is it's stunning what these presets can do if you are a creative cloud subscriber when you install these in lightroom they're automatically going to sync to lightroom mobile and when you install them in Lightroom Classic, they will automatically sync to Adobe Camera Raw. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this preview of the new Muse collection. We can't wait to see all the beautiful edits you create.